Incoming guest star. First on the agenda are fresh cauldron cakes. Over to you, Harry. Larry. Your credit is as Harry. It's complicated. Anyway, start by whisking together the dry ingredients. Then, pour out three quarters of a cup of soy milk and add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to curdle it. Set that aside and whip together the rest of the wet ingredients. Ninety-nine death eaters go by. Add your curdled milk to the oily sugar, mix it together, and then dump it on the dry ingredients. Yum yum. Somebody's not getting a call back. Grab your mini bunt pan, because everybody has one of those, and grease it. Then, dollop your delicious batter into the pan. From somewhere else, the horrors all spring to life. Moody opens up his eye, and focusing it on the sky. It's 99 dead leaders go by. If you have empty spaces, then half fill them with water to ensure that their neighbors cook evenly. Bake them in a 375 degree oven that you preheated earlier because you're psychic until they're done. If you can't tell when a cake's done, I can't help you. Melt together a cup of chocolate chunks and a quarter cup of soy milk to make a tasty ganache. Then dollop it onto the bun holes. <laughs> That's great, Harry. You should have quit when you're just slightly behind. Larry. Coming up next, fresh pumpkin pasties. How are those fresh? That's canned pumpkin. Shut up. Mix up a cup of canned pumpkin with half a cup of dark brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And add one cup of chopped pecans. Then unwrap a package of defrosted puff pastry dough. Man, they knew about the puff pastry too? Psychic! And cut it up with a pizza slicer. Or a machete, whatever you have on hand. Lay them out on a baking sheet. Like sunbathing nurgles. Adorable. And top them with a pumpkin filling. Top them with more pieces of puff pastry. That's a lot of peas. And pinch down the sides. More peas. Score the tops with a knife. Or your spare machete. I could find something tragic. Just then brush the tops with soy milk once was magic. And, here is and sprinkle them with sugar. Bake them in a 425 degree oven go. until they're crispy and golden. To make cockroach clusters, you must first pick up some cockroach parts, aka Cracker Jacks, and chow mein noodles. I'm never gonna eat those again. Drizzle them with melted chocolate. There are really no measurements at work here, just eyeball it. And dollop this mixture onto a piece of parchment paper. Remain silent. Um, you're not supposed to read that bit. But it's right here in my script. Never mind, you can read it. Yay! Chocolate frogs are a no-brainer if you're willing to spring for a frog-shaped mold. <laughs> spring. It's funny because I get it. Fill the mold with melted chocolate and then tap it on a hard surface and let the chocolate sit. Butterbeer time! Yes! Plop two scoops of vanilla ice cream Vegan in this case into your favorite pint glass because we all have those, right? Right? Add two tablespoons of butterscotch syrup. And then a bottle of cream soda. Sexy shot. Look at that. Oh.
Warning, fresh butterbeer floats are likely to attract uninvited guests. Hey, I know those guys. They owe me money. Especially for the young, don't, don't eat it. F is for Brad, who was the hottest Weasley. U is for I'm um, okay. N is for nosebleeds. Use a skip apology. Don't want to go to class today. I need to talk to my audience. <laughs> what audience? <laughs> we are your audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just you like, we're all the audience. Guys, guys. Take three. 